Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I'm coming to you with a general love reading. We're going to see what is happening for you in love for the end of February, early March. Um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your Moon, your Rising, your Venus. Um, a few announcements. Um, go ahead and Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Let's see. I have 10% off of my Etsy shop for my Oracle decks, my personal love readings, to my spiritual jewelry. Okay, all the links are in the description box. Okay, I'm open for personal readings as well. All right, um, at the very end, I'm going to pull three questions from Ask the Universe. I know I did it last time. So think of three yes or no questions, and I'm going to ask it at the very end. It could pertain to your person or not. It could be in general. Um, okay, so stick around to the very end for those three questions. Your extended bonus reading for February 21st through the 28th is up on Vimeo. And that is how does your person feel. Okay, we're going to look at your person's energy, see what's on their mind, feelings, emotions, what are they not saying. And how do they truly want to move forward? Now, I'm going to use my Epiphany deck. Okay, this is also my Etsy shop. And we're going to start off your reading with that, okay? All right, Sagittarius, what's happening? What's going on with my Sagittarius in love? Clear, concise, accurate messages here, please. Let's get a few cards out. Sagittarius, Unadvising Venus. If this resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Okay. All right. We have um, hard to say goodbye. So there may be someone here who um, you're distancing yourself from, Sagittarius. Uh, I'm getting either you or your person. It, I'm getting a difficulty to say goodbye, walk away, right? It's not that easy. It's like the eight of cups energy. There's someone who you have a lot of deep feelings for, maybe a lot of past memories, and you guys are having a difficult time with your person is right now, okay? Maybe it's mutually for some of you guys. Someone is having a difficult time saying goodbye to you. Yeah, because this love story, this is definitely a love story. Um <laughs> Not your typical love story, though, right? There's something that was not typical. It wasn't usual. Maybe you guys met in a very different way, unusual way. I'm getting that there could be a lot of ups and downs, but you still love this person so hard. It just wasn't typical. No one understood this connection except you, okay? So you guys can be dealing with your twin flame here. Uh, we have every love song sounds like us. So some of you guys are musicians or maybe you love music. You connect with music, especially if you guys are empaths. You feel, um, I'm getting music moves you, right? You, you feel very deeply. You feel um, some kind of way when you hear music. But I'm also seeing that your person, they connect with music, but they connect to you with music, okay? So I'm getting that they listen to songs and they hear the lyrics and then they're constantly thinking about you. They're reminiscing. They're thinking of the times you guys have spent with each other. So every love song sounds like us. So every love song sounds like this connection, sounds like this relationship that they had with you. All right, so we got You Are My Lifeline. You are my lifeline. I can't lose you. So this is someone, it's like the Six of Swords, right? You're in a ro rowboat and you're trying to go into smoother, calmer waters. Some of you guys have removed yourself from a situation because there's a lot of conflict. Um, but still, someone is feeling like you are their <laughs> their life. You are their everything, their world, and they really can't lose you right now. They want to go back to something here. All right, we also have too much to think about. So um, it could be a little complicated. Maybe you guys are up in your head about this, uh, about this separation or breakup or some kind of argument you guys have had. It's just too much to think about. You just want to put it aside, right? All right, let's get your reading on, Sagittarius. What's up with my Sagittarius? Clear messages, please. All right. What's going on? What's the current mutual energy between Sagittarius and their person? Wow. Five of Cups in verse with the wheel. So something is definitely um, moving and shaking. Okay, this is the energy. This is something that's faded, destined. Okay, you guys could certainly be separated because the Five of Cups is here. Um, the Two of Cups is right behind her, right? It's telling me that there could be something here that your person could be regretting about a situation or feeling guilt or feeling upset, feeling disappointed in their actions. Um, but it looks like the wheel is telling me there's something here that needed to happen. Maybe you guys need to separate for something to come into balance or maybe you guys to get some kind of important lesson. 
okay, or your person to uh, value, appreciate you. I'm getting some of you guys, this person may have taken you for granted and now they're realizing how much you meant to them and now they want some kind of forward movement here with the wheel, okay? Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Three of cups in three of cups and the eight of cups in reverse. So in the past, some of you guys were definitely connected with a water sign, Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. But what I'm seeing is that this person definitely um, wants to come back together. I feel like they could have been in this energy for some time. The eight of cups is telling me that someone's walked away or just decided to let this connection go. Uh, may not have been ready to make the uh, sacrifice okay, for you, for the connection. And what I'm seeing is that this person isn't happy. They want to come on back. They want to have some kind of reconciliation or reunion with the Three of Cups. Others of you guys, they could have left for a third party. And now they're wanting to see, well, what can happen between you and them now, okay? All right, what is like the current energy for my Sagittarius? What's on your mind as it relates to this person, please? Please. Ooh, the High Priestess. Um, You guys, you're so secretive. Okay. This high priestess energy, some of you guys are very intuitive. I remember I mentioned, you know, you guys may be empaths. Um, but what I'm seeing is that you guys are not revealing anything, right? Your lips are sealed. You're not telling this person your next move. You're not telling them um, how you want to go about this situation, okay? It's a big, fat secret. <laughs> Let's get one more card for that. Ooh, you got the Ace of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, you're not telling this person that I'm getting some of you guys, you really do want this commitment still, okay? I'm getting there. I'm getting some kind of promise or I'm getting maybe this person, I, I'm getting that you're not telling this person how much you still want some kind of union with this person. I'm getting you want a commitment or you want some kind of, uh, maybe you guys want something tangible like a ring or something and this person didn't give it to you um, back then, okay? It also could just been a, just a commitment, right? The Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you guys wanted a relationship but they weren't ready at that time. But I'm almost seeing that, wow, some of you guys don't see that this is coming into you. Some of you guys, are, I'm getting like you're manifesting this with this person. Others of you guys, you're not telling this, this person that you've already moved on and you're in another relationship, okay? This Ace of Pentacles could definitely be you guys are in a relationship, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, but some of you guys, I feel like from the majority of you guys, you're not telling this person how you really feel and that you still do want this commitment because I don't think you've moved on. I don't think neither one of you guys have moved on, to be honest with you. I'm seeing it in both of your energies. All right, what's going on with your person, Sagittarius? Oh, wow, the hangman came out in a verse, Pisces. Ooh, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's get one more card. All right, the Page of Pent Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that some of you guys, um, this person wants to get unstuck. The problem is that they do have someone in their environment. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this Queen of Pentacles could be a mother figure. Okay, it could be someone who they are stuck to or in some kind of codependent connection. It could be someone they have a child with or live with, um, owe money to. Okay, and I'm getting some of you guys. That could be the reason why they couldn't move forward towards you, okay? There could have been some news that this person didn't tell you that wouldn't have been um, very good news, right? I'm also getting that this person could be, again, holding back, not putting in effort here with the Page of Wands in verse because of this Queen of Pentacles. There's someone here in their environment that could be keeping them from moving towards you. And I'm getting that this is faded, right? The wheel, I'm getting there's something here. The timing wasn't right, okay? Now, with the Hangman in verse, I do feel like there's something here in the past, if it was stuck, if it was suspended now, it's something here that's finally maybe able to move. But it's going to require someone to look at a situation a little differently, okay? Let's see what comes in. What's coming into the moment, please? Wow, the Emperor is here. Okay, you got an Emperor. Tell me more about the Emperor. So the Emperor, we've got the Ace of Cups in verse and the Seven of Wands. So what I'm seeing is that some of you guys will be offered some kind of love um, opportunity, but I'm getting someone is rejecting it because someone's very guarded. We have a seven of wands right next to the ace of cups. So I'm feeling that it's like your person wants to take steps forward towards you. They want to, um, I'm getting take charge and ownership of the connection, but there's some kind of block still. And that seven of wands is the block. It could be in your person's energy or your energy. Um, but I see that at the end of the day, there's still a lot of love here. The ace of cups is here. It's, it's pure. It's genuine love. Um, I feel like even though there's separation between you guys, this love doesn't change. It's not going anywhere. It's not dying. Um, I just feel like there's some there's a barrier or there's a guarded energy. Someone could be holding on to something from the past, a little bit resentful. 
right that five of cups energy someone may be having a difficult time letting go of something that was hurtful in the past all right let's see let's get one more card here and then i'm gonna clarify yeah so what i'm seeing someone's gonna get out of their head the two of swords came out in reverse so if someone was stuck um and that could be the reason why the seven of wands is here right blocks this person is now getting unstuck. They're ready to move forward. Um, they got their eye on a prize, eye on a target. And I do see that it's regarding um, a, some kind of beginning here with the Ace of Cups, okay? So let's see what this is all about. I'm going to get my clarification deck. Just a reminder, your extended bonus reading is up on Vimeo, February 21st to the 28th. Check it out. It's how does your person feel, what's in their emotions, all that good stuff. What are they not saying? And how do they truly want to move forward, Okay. Be sure to think of your three questions at the very end. I'm going to ask the universe. All right. All right. The five of cups and the wheel. What's going on? Regrets. Disappointment. Uh, yeah, because someone wasn't moving forward. Someone wasn't ready to do the right thing. Right with the emperor coming out reverse. This is someone who was um, not stepping up to the plate, not doing what they needed to do to really propel this connection forward. This is also someone who could have just like moved away from doing the right thing, their responsibilities. Um, some of you guys could have had a child with this emperor. We got two emperors here. We got the queen of pentacles. It could be a child or family situation here. Uh, why is the world card? Why wasn't this person able to move forward? Wow. Even though there was love because it could have been another love opportunity. What's this eight of cups about? Give me some more. If there was love here, why couldn't this person move forward? What's going on? Wow, magician. Some of you guys, because I feel like they could have had their hands dabbled in something else, trying to create, trying to manipulate. Maybe even some of you guys could be dealing with a manipulator. We got Gemini energy here. Um, I'm feeling this person definitely could have been I'm feeling like they could have been doing something for their own good, right? Trying to turn things around, trying to manipulate the situation in order to get some kind of benefit out of it. Some of you guys, they could have certainly been manifesting this love with you, okay? Um, maybe things weren't really moving in the right direction in the past, but now there's an energy of wanting to uh, create this new opportunity, right? The Ace of Cups come out twice. Right, so this is telling me that there's a lot of love. Obviously, we got hard to say goodbye, not your typical love story. Um, I'm getting a missed opportunity here, but it looks like your person wants to come back. They can't lose you. Every love song, they're reminded of you. I'm getting a lot of strong emotions here. Now, in the past, three of cups with the eight of cups in reverse. Um, yeah, but something here wasn't stable in the past, right? Or this person couldn't give you the commitment that you were looking for. Um, it could be because of a third party. It could have been in a way. It caused this person to, yeah, I'm getting someone was a little bit um, frisky, a little bit immature, um, <laughs> out on the streets, okay, acting a lot hot mess. This is someone who could have been very in and out, very young-minded, very concerned about their own self, having fun, just, you know, that kind of energy. And I do feel like it's, it's cost this connection. And someone has walked away, but now they definitely want to return. Uh, ace of pentacles on your mind sagittarius what is this about with the high priestess nine of cups some of you guys you started a new business venture or you going on you're doing something that you want to do you're not telling this person some of you guys you got a new job you got a big lump sum of money there's something that's making you happy some of you guys may even have another child maybe you're expecting with the nine of cups is making you very very happy in the moment there's something that you're getting or you you've received sagittarius that is filling your cup up and you're not telling this person about it so tell me what the hell that is what is it, Sagittarius? Let me know. Is it money? Is it a car? Is it a relationship? Is it a diamond ring? <laughs> All right, what's in the foundation with the hangman, the queen of pentacles, and the page of wands in reverse? Ooh, so your person definitely wants a new beginning. They're coming in. It could be a text message coming towards you, a little bit of flirt and all that, you know, kind of saying like, hey, what kind of panties you wearing? That kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I am so fresh. That's Terrence. How dare me, right? All right, yeah. Your person's feeling left out in the cold. They do miss you a lot, right? You are their lifeline. They can't lose you. So someone is definitely... um stalled right things have not been moving but they do want to move forward finally with the emperor here this is someone who's all about making the right decisions doing what's best for everyone look at the eight of wands eight of wands is a love arrows okay not only that this is about forward movement this is reaching out this is a lot of back and forth communication you can expect with you and your person okay 
Wow. Because someone is getting out of their head. Someone is was in that Two of Swords energy. Now they're saying, you know what? I'm done with this. This ain't getting me nowhere, right? There could have been a lot of blocks to someone's um, love or someone was blocked from giving the love that they wanted to because there is love at the end of the day, um, but someone was not... Someone was either not able to give it or someone was not able to receive it. I'm just getting t wrong timing, okay? That's what I'm seeing, wrong timing with that wheel card. All right, let's get the last messages from my Sagittarius. Yeah, four of swords. So what I'm seeing is some of you guys are taking a break from this person. <laughs> some of you guys are literally ghosting this person with the high priestess and a four swords. You're like, leave me alone. Or you decide, you know what? Too much to think about. I just I just need time. I need, I need to rest. I need to find peace of mind. Some of you guys are just giving them the silent treatment. That's what I'm feeling. The silent treatment. That four of swords is like, I'm in conflict. I don't know what I want to do. I just need silence. And I need you to get out of my ear right now. Yeah, the wheel. But if it's meant to be, you'll come back together. And that's what the wheel is about okay all right so Sagittarius that's for your reading for the end of February let's go ahead and get to the ask the universe okay now um instructions are very simple you just ask three yes or no questions it could pertain to uh this person it could pertain to love in general it could be a career or finance question as well because i don't really do any career readings and some of you guys have asked me yeah it's not my thing i do love and romance and i do twin flame readings and that is my specialty but you can ask the universe, a career related question, if you choose. All right. So, Sagittarius, ask your first question. Okay. Ask your first question. Oh, yes. A hundred percent. Okay, Sagittarius, go ahead. Whatever that question was. Okay, Sagittarius, ask the universe your ooh, second question. It came out indeterminate. Let's get one more. Okay. Because that just flew out on me. Ask the universe your second question. indecisive and indeterminate so that second question is i don't i don't know what you asked but that that second question mm -mm, i can't get nothing out of it okay that first question was an absolute 100 percent yes now the third question sagittarius what is your third question for the universe what is the third question for the universe almost positive almost positive the universe is almost positive about that okay so that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. This is on my Etsy shop, the Ask the Universe Oracle deck. If you're interested, it is 108 cards. It's not your typical 78 card tarot deck, just so you, you know. All right, they're nice and small, but they're thick, okay? So just so you are aware. All right, you guys take care. Have a great weekend.